So I'm warning you guys who are sensitive, this could be... Oh, there's another hyena coming in. They've, they've seen this, how sickly the buffalo calf is. They're charging in towards it now. Oh my goodness, look at this. There we go. It's onto the buffalo calf. Another hyena's running in. Please be, be warned, this is going to be... Oh, there's hyenas coming in from everywhere. Now, there's a buffalo bull. I need to keep up, sorry. That might come and help the calf. There's a big buffalo bull on his way in. But uh, the calf is really sick. We just saw it. There's one, two, three, four, five hyenas charging in. There's a big buffalo bull charging straight at the hyenas. Trying to protect the, the calf. The pole's but in the way. The pole's in the way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look at this. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Yeah, forward? Yeah. Now, literally, that first boo sent in I mean that now we've got four hyenas I can still see some more coming from the distance so we just we just saw this buffalo calf on the road and I just said oh it looks really sick then we spotted a hyena and the hyena was walking towards it it hadn't noticed the the, the buffalo yet but as soon as it did it charged and look at the bull chasing those hyenas now oh, guys this is it, very 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 disturbing to watch I know so if you are sensitive please switch off now the whole herd's coming. The whole herd of buffalo are charging in. There's about 50 buffalo. It's the same herd of buffalo we're with on the Sunrise Safari. They're coming in in defense now. Isn't it, oh, this is insane. But look at how confident the hyenas are, even with the buffalo bull here. Now, it's going to be very different, I think, when... Oh, there's more hyenas coming. I can just see hyenas coming from the distance all over the place. Look, here comes a cow. She's coming in really seriously at the hyenas. Now, there's a gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. There's two buffalo away. There's hyenas coming in for the calf. Now, that calf is sick. It, it really looked sick when we saw it. But look at this. Tails up. The herd of buffalo charging in in defense. Forward. Forward. Yes, sure. Turn. How's that? No, no, it's worse. Straight. No. Now, as I said, that, that calf is very sick. So even though the buffalo managed to chase the hyenas off now, I don't think this calf is going to survive the night. There are more hyenas still coming in, and it. I don't know how long the buffalo will stay with it. Oh, I'm just making sure I haven't pulled out my earpiece or anything because I got so excited. Now, again, remember this is nature and sometimes it is brutal and we're here to absorb, ob observe it in, in, its, in its, its nicest, its purest birds, but also in, in that really harsh sort of life and death scenario. And uh, this is why it's better than a soap opera. This is real life. This is happening live this very second on the open plains of the Maasai Mara in Kenya. And, and we're just incredibly privileged to be able to show you uh, nature in all its facets. Now, oh, there's the standoff. There are still more hyenas coming in. They're not charging in at the same speed now. The rest of the herd is also slowly moving back uh, towards us. So a lot of people, wow, wow, wow. And this is one of the reasons we've 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 this, we've based a camp, or going to be basing a camp in the Maasai Mara. This, these interactions happen all the time, and it is just possibly one of the most spectacular wildlife destinations in the world. You, you can't really compare it to anywhere else. The amount of interaction you see between predator and prey, and remember, this is even without the wildebeest migration being here. It is just truly one of the greatest spectacles on earth. As I said, that, that, that buffalo calf is very sick, and, and the herd had, had actually left it behind. But as soon as that first bellow went out, boo, the rest, the bull who was right at the back of the herd came running in. Now the whole herd is coming back here. Are you on the hyena's greeting? The there we go. There's some hyena greeting going on.
So you can see there's a cow wandering off. Now, hyenas, one of the, the, the things that makes them such a successful predator is their patience. Now, this calf, I'm almost certain, won't make it through the night. But while the herds here, the hyenas stand very little chance of actually being able to, to, to get at it. But the herd will move. Um, well, they might stay here for the night. They might protect it for one more night. But I don't think uh, they're going to stay here for, for the whole time. Sorry, Chris, go again. I didn't, I didn't catch that. Um, so, guys, you're wondering if the baby is still alive. Yes, it's very much still alive, but it's very, very weak. You can still see its ears flicking. And those hyenas barely bit it compared to what I've seen hyenas do in the past. So it is still alive, but it is very weak. It's very sick. It was There was an incredible amount of snot and, and salivating coming out of its its, its nostrils. So uh, it could be a whole host of different diseases that, 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 that it might be suffering from. Now, look at this. The hyenas are now just lying down around probably about 30 or 40 meters from this baby buffalo and uh, oh so you see there's another one coming in in the distance see there's still more hyenas coming in oh um i can't wait to meet up with the the hyena the, the hyena researchers so we can find out a bit more about what's going on now cedar points wondering does the herd realize that the the, the calf is sick uh, they most certainly do and uh, they will uh, they will realize it's sick, but they, 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 that dis defensive mechanism that is instinctively inbred in buffalo will, will often bring them back uh, and, and get them to try save the calf, even if it is very sick. Well, as I said, the hyenas are just going to rest around here. And I, I would love, love to stay here, but unfortunately we do need to, to move. We need to be out and out of the reserve um, in about half an hour and we are still quite far from home so i think we're gonna just leave this play out we'll definitely be back here in the morning to see if there's any update on what's happened here and i think for now with the herd around it's going to be a stalemate wow guys this is why we're here. This is why we're in the Maasai Mara. I'm going to get moving. Hopefully we still find some stuff on the way back home. We'll definitely be back here tomorrow morning to see what's going to happen next. So while we move on, let's go back to Commander Bond.